full news. I'll have that paperwork with you in half an hour. Bye. You look pleased with yourself. I just secured new bedside ultrasounds for us. What colour? Didn't ask. They're top of the line. So expensive. Within budget. Lunder even. Brilliant. Mm. Impossible. They can't be the real deal. They're the latest versions of the scans we already use. I've seen the budget and it won't stretch to cover those. What's the catch? No catch. We simply played several suppliers off against each other. Everyone loves a little competition. And it frees up funds for other uses. Let's go. She loves playing games, doesn't she? She's amazing. Better still, she gets results. Here comes your girl crush. What? Don't be childish. She's just been singing your praises. Loves a girl boss. You don't? I love an empowered woman and a woman in power. You just call me Dr. Woke. Not sure that's the nickname I've heard. <laughs> what nickname? I was going to call a meeting for the whole department, but I'll tell you two now. I have a slot available for a surgeon to attend a VR surgical simulation lab. Scrap that meeting. Sign me up. I love a simulation. I'm keen for any opportunity to upskill. There's only one place. Surely seniority comes into play here. I was going to suggest that each of my surgeons convince me who is the best candidate for an investment in their career. I'm, I'm in. Come on, Samira. You don't want to go to this boring VR tech lab fest. Says who? I've been studying this tech since she was in high school. I'll prove to you I'm the better candidate. Shots fired. Guess I'm not the only girl boss around here. I just heard about Chris. Looking over his notes now. I want to do the surgery. Excuse me? You said you wanted us to prove to you that we're worth investing in. Let me show you how good of a surgeon I am. By operating on the CEO of the hospital. It's a stent, a simple procedure, which I've done before. On a man who has previous cardiac trauma from a bullet. Seriously? It's all here in the notes. She will need to study if you're going to do this. I want to. Okay then. Really? Show me what you got. Hey, darling, it's me, your very patient wife. I'll wait for you in the cafe. Ciao. Hey, you got time for a coffee? Guess who just landed? Twenty thousand dollars with the Phoenix Trust. Oh, you can't see Chris. He's on his way to theatre. No, oh, I'm waiting for Liam. I don't want to talk to Chris. He's lost his mind. When did you last see him? Just this afternoon. How was he? He was intense, like a mad dog. Ask Leanne, she saw it all. You might have been the last one to talk to him before... Before what? He's had a heart attack, Vivian. What? How was he? Pale, sweaty, and well? Oh my God, I didn't realise. Too busy playing games to help a man in need of medical attention. Well, I wasn't playing games. Oh, please. No, it was Chris. He was the one insisting that we talk, raving about me leaving Liam. I have to go, and you need to find your husband. Are you in position? Not, not quite. Is there a problem? I'm just taking my time. I need to make sure the guide wire is in the correct place. Yeah, well, you better, because this is terrifying. What? You're like elbow deep in the boss's innards. Hardly. Okay, well, not technically, but come on. Chris is like the head of the hospital. His life is in our hands right now. Shouldn't you be at home looking after Kev? And miss out on one of the most important surgeries ever? No way. Breathe. If you need me to, I can take over. But you don't need me to, do you? No. You got this. Okay. I'm in position now, inserting the guide wire. And placing the stent now. That's it? Nice work. <laughs> 